All right, so before I roll today's video, I just wanna say a little bit of extra information about this farm we're gonna go and have a look at. So a long time ago in Thailand, back before they had proper land titles and land deeds and proper public records of who owns what, you used to just be able to go up into the mountains or off into the forest and cut the trees down, clear the trees and just you know start growing whatever you wanted. So when we're having a look around this farm today, just bear in mind that that's what this chap's parents and perhaps grandparents did. They went up into the mountains, cleared the forest, and, and they and their family created this place. So I think bearing that fact in mind just makes this particular farm all the more impressive, as if it wasn't impressive enough already. So work is progressing. So the dogs are getting locked up because they keep running in there and biting the strings again. I'm giving them a few chances, but they're not listening. Who's naughty? Naughty. Bad, bung, bung, bad. So yeah, look, work's carrying on. Um, but yeah, we got a problem over here. So the digger was in digging a few more holes yesterday and they struck the mains pipe that runs underneath. See that one down there? So right now we can't water anything and we need to water. So it's got to be fixed as soon as possible. So the concrete lorry's shown up. Hopefully he doesn't break any more pipes. From here, we think this pipe heads in that direction under the corner of the bungalow over there where we're digging. Hopefully that'll be done in a day or two. It's really annoying. I wish I didn't have to, but that's just the way it is. So it's been a bit of an annoying morning, but hopefully the rest of the day will be a bit more pleasant. We're going to go and see one of Penn's friends. She's got a really nice durian farm up on the other side of town. So we're off to see this lady's farm now. It's over on the other side of town, but neither me and Penn can remember how to get there. It's a little bit complicated way, so... So we're off to pick up this lady's mum, and then the mum will show us the way. It's mum's house here. All right, so we're all in the car, Nam's mum is in the back. Hopefully she remembers the way. Hopefully. Get lost. <laughs> So we've got to go back over the level, crossing here over the train tracks. They're quite bumpy, these ones. Yeah, this side, this side, clear. Clear, so, clear. It was going over these that convinced me I had to buy a truck in Thailand. When I went over those in the Honda Jazz, I was like, no, normal, normal car is not going to cut it. So we're off out into the mountains on the other side of town up into the windy little roads. It's quite steep down here. So this is like their storage shed and then their house is up here through the trees. So this is Nam's place in here. I'm not jealous of many people, but um, this place is really nice. I'm going to make this video today a long video, but it's worth it because this place is just amazing. Whenever I try and put these videos together, I try to cut out unnecessary nonsense and I try to have short cuts and um, try to keep it interesting. But I think I'm going to make an exception with today's video and I'm just going to show you around this place as much as I can because it's so amazing. It's the best farm I've ever been to myself. I've not looked around all of it because it's too big, it's 100 rye. It would take us only 30 minutes to get to the other end of it, so... But anyway, they've got a lovely house here. Lovely outside bit. Some songbirds in the bird house over there. This is uh, Nam and Nam's mum. This is Nam's owner of the farm. So it came from her husband um, and his parents. So they've had this in their family for, you know, I don't know. Could be 100 years or more. It's so 100 right, three kids, they all got 30 right each. But um, but they run it all together as a family. 
So they all still live here. I think there's different houses up the other end there. And they kind of run it all as a business. It's mostly durian, but they do have other other plants around, other trees. Uh, three lakes, there's a lake here, the lake there, and another big lake down there, I'll show you in a minute. See, it goes, it goes down and then up. So this, isn't, this is all in a valley and the lakes run down the middle of the valley. Nam here, been friends with Penn since they were at school together. There's a water source over there. You can see it trickling out from up the mountain. And they dug all these lakes out themselves as like a reservoir for their farm. I don't know if you're gonna get a sense of scale, but there's this lake, which is higher up, and then it goes down to a lower level. And then down the back there, there's another, there's a third lake, which is lower down. Can you see it through the, through the trees down there? That lake's huge. I'm not sure what's in that house there. It's got me wondering now. So they're having a fish for something. <laughs> Are you gonna catch anything? Are they gonna catch anything? What kind of fish is in there? What kind of fish is in there, Pen? Oh my God. Whoa, that was quick. Okay, so we were just asking what's in that house in the middle there and, and Nam said that's where they used to live before they, ha before they had the big main house, that's where they lived. I wanna see where the water comes from exactly. I've not been up over there before. So they've lived here since they were, you know, since their parents. This is Nam's husband, it came from his parents. And basically he's lived here his whole life. He's been working in here his whole life and it, and it shows. I don't think it gets any better than this, really. So there's a fourth lake up here. This is the smallest one. Not sure where the water comes from. Must be up, up further up the mountain. So lake number two then that's where they're fishing over there i can't show you at all it just goes on and on and on this place i'd be walk i could walk around here all day and we wouldn't see it enormous durian trees just everywhere and it goes i don't know how far it goes it could be a mile in that direction it's a long way so obviously this place generates an enormous amount of money you wouldn't know it to look at them. They live quite frugally. So here's number two. Oh, A little path down there. Let's go down there. And where they are now is fishing there is in lake two. It's lake three goes into lake four or it's all off down there. Got another fish. How many fish are they gonna eat? That looks like a big one. So this is their old house. It's all overgrown around here. This lake down here is huge. It's a massive lake. How about that? Four personal private fishing lakes. What would this cost you in the UK? Can you imagine? I mean, even over here, this is like really, really expensive. You know, this is well north of a million baht rai. Yeah, I think um, mature durian land like this, um, I've seen it advertised, well, frankly, not as nice as this for two million baht rai. So, you know, I, I think that this, this place is easily worth five million US dollars. So we could easily sell it never work a day in their lives but um but that's not the point you know they put their life in here and their work in here and where else would you go that would be nicer than this so really like they're sitting pretty but they're not lazy nam never comes out because she's always in here working and nam's husband too 
always in here working. He's been here his entire life, just working in this farm. Um, but this is what he's got to show for its stunning place. Another massive fish. How many are you going to eat? Oh, that is a big fish. So you don't need a fancy carbon fibre fishing rod. You just need an old stick you found in the bushes with a bit of string. I put that one back too small. So we have got fruits out on some of the trees. So yeah, where else would you go that's better than this? It's nowhere better than the farm. It's like you work, but you're working on your own garden. It's your own massive garden, your own house. So this is the storage shed, I think. Got a quad bike in there for getting around. I think they need it on a place like this. It's too big to walk. So that's the pump house down there and then their old house. We'll just have a quick look here and then Nam says the view is much nicer from up that side so we'll go around that way. But look at this place, how about that? So that's all the lake system coming down here. This is the last final big lake. There's fish in every lake. They haven't stocked it themselves or anything. They just, you know, they get in there themselves. All the durian up the side there. This place is amazing. I can't go over this place. Last year when I came here, Nam's husband was telling us how he'd built all this road himself and everything. So I'm sure it was really hard work, you know, digging all this up and... I don't know whatever they did. I'm sure it was hard work in the hot sun. But it's digging your own road, it's your road, in your house, in your farm, in your land, forever. Every day you get up, go out and work hard, it's yours. You're building your own thing. So that's where Barlek is fishing down there and it comes up, goes down into a, another valley over there and uphill up here as well. This place is unbelievable. This is like basically having your own private park. This would pass as a pretty big park in London, like a public green area. She should sell tickets to this place, you know? Get some boats on the lake, hot dog stand. Durian up here as well. So in here they have a lot of the old style trees where they just used to let them grow and be natural. As well as a lot of the new style trees where they prune them into a, what they call it, a central leader. Branches coming out of it. So let's just have a look down here. There you go, that's the lake. All their durian as well, going off down that direction. It, it doesn't stop there, it goes a long way that way. They've got two dog houses. They've got one set of dogs that lives over here in this house. And they've got another set of dogs that lives over there in another house over there. It goes off for miles down there as well. Nam's giving us a durian to eat and take home with us. Looks good. Can't wait to stuff that in my face. This is Nam's husband here, <laughs> off out to work. So that's it, we're off home now. Back through the durian. There's a lake over there. I'm going to leave the camera run so you can see how long their land is. So they do work in here by themselves all the time, but they do also have a lot of workers coming in to cut the grass and things like that. This place is too big, you cannot possibly manage it on your own. Uh, even, you know, husband and wife team, no chance. Is that theirs as well over there, the little ones? Yeah, oh no, no, that's the one, so, uh, auntie, their auntie. That's their aunt's little durian in there. They look to be about two years old. They're quite nice. 
This is where the lake ends, just about over here. So is it, what about this? Is this their palm, is this their palm tree? No, you see the family, not really one of their family at the Alright, so, so where does theirs go to? I think on the side of the door. The on this, on the left hand side, right. see what's going on in there but fruit trees in behind what's in there pen what's in there so yeah more durian what's this long gone long gone same neck to our water the house, the one of the fruits. Yeah. More durian. On and on. I think this place is bigger than yeah. parks in London or even in England. It's bigger than a lot of parks in England. Where now? Is this the end or is this yeah, still the end, theirs? Yeah. Is that someone else's? Yeah, I think someone else's on the side of it. Let's see. Let's see. That's it. Bar Lex house. <laughs> Getting a bag of fish out. Okay, cup and cup. Thank you. Pla, my, my out, my out. I don't want a fish. Oh, you got mangoes. Oh, yeah, look. I've got loads of little mangoes. <laughs> so next jobs after they filled them concrete sets at the bottom they put these metal shutters around the steel and then they're going to pour concrete so from fantasy farms up in the hills back to reality back down to earth and broken pipes over there They're using the strings once again to line up all the columns. So everyone's still working hard. Pen and Peachy are fixing pipes back here. Builders carry on pouring the columns. Got to go out to 7 Eleven. It's been really hard work today. It's that dog I don't like. Cut it. Dog. It's been hard work today digging this morning and walking around that farm today. That was like in the midday heat, that was really tiring. Digging this afternoon. We've all worked hard today. So I thought I'd have a cold shower, jump in the car, a bit of air climb, go to 7 Eleven get some drinks and ice creams for everyone but they all said they don't want anything so just gonna get some chocolate bars for the kids and uh I don't know a can of coke or something all right so i got the greek yogurt ice cream this one's really nice blueberry it's been out of stock for like three months good good news i got an orange coke and just in case that sucks a normal one Chocolate bars for the kids. Orange Coke. It's not bad. I think that farm we went to today is really amazing. It's not just amazing because of what it is, like it's an amazing place. But just the fact that they went up there, like into the mountain, and back then there wouldn't have even been any roads going up there. So just to go up there and make that place out of the forest like that's that's what their family did